Hey everybody, welcome to Go For Green Living. My name is Daniel. And I'm Krista. And today, I'm going to give you seven newbie mistakes that people make going solar, moving to solar power. Uh, but first, let me say this, Anna, your daddy loves you with all his heart. You know, I hope to see you soon. I love you, love you, love you. Love you too, Krista. All right, but anyway, Krista helped me with this video. So this this uh, it, it's been a while in the in the making, that's for sure. But uh, you know, so you'll get to see her in this in this video too because she helped me. And uh, it's always good to have a pretty girl in in your videos. Uh, now, number one, the first mistake is listening to the wrong people. Now, first, before I get to number one, uh, let me say this is a re uh, kind of a rebuttal against uh, LDS reliance. And, and I'm not saying that he's wrong about anything that he says or anything like that. I know he's been on solar for, for four years. But what I'm saying is it's just my opinion. You know, some of them might be different. Some might be the same. So uh, there you go. But it, it's... Uh, and his first one was about the uh, solar hours and you know sun hours and actually you know peak sun and all that kind of stuff and uh, and that was number one. Now, I, you know he was talking about that being understanding you know understanding of what is peak hours of the sun uh, and there's so many variables to that. That is uh, you have to live on it to know it because a cloudy day uh, like kind of like today can produce more than those peak sun hours because the magnification, the magnification of the sun peeking up between the clouds, it just wham, everything's up, way up. You know, and if you aren't prepared for it with a good charge controller or, you know, a, it, it'll short it out and it's, it'll stop working. It, it happened to me several times until I moved to our charge controllers, the, the charge controllers go for Green Living produces, and then it never happens again because it can handle 200 amp, uh, 200 amps continuous and 500 amps surge. Now, me personally, I have lived on solar for uh, 15 years total. Not continuous, but 15 years total. Uh, nine years one time, five years the second time. Uh, so, at 15 years experience. I've installed, uh, I'd say 30 solar systems. Uh, you know, I, I Ordered the parts. I've designed the systems. Probably designed a hundred systems. Uh, you know, but so I have a little bit of experience in in knowing what it's like to live on solar, knowing what's going to take as a daily maintenance to pre prepare for it. So I would say listen to the right people. Uh, listen to somebody that lives on solar. Somebody that that knows what it takes. Uh, you know. It, somebody that's not a salesman because a salesman all they want to do is get into your pocket uh, no matter what they say they are trying to get into your pocket because they are a salesman and they need that you know that money so that commission you know from from your sales so there's a bunch of us youtubers out there that uh, that live on solar and have lived on solar that they can tell you all about it and they would be glad to you know so you know listen to the right people uh, You'll know if they're the wrong people if they say, well, I got a solar panel and I'm, and I'm running an air conditioner. <laughs> That's not the right kind of people to listen to because they're just trying to get you to watch instead of trying to tell you the truth about it. Uh, you can run air conditioning with enough, enough panels and the right kind of batteries. Uh, so anyway, so listen to the right people. Number two, uh, his was understanding power consumption. Uh, and and that's a good one. Uh, that's a really important. And and but I put it later now on the list. Uh, it it's not just the power consumption. And I and I. The second is mistake is not understanding solar. See, understand solar. Get. Uh, you do a little bit of research. You're you're about to make a big investment towards solar, so do your research and understand uh, what you're getting into. How you're going to have to change your life to feed solar. I mean, solar is getting better and it's getting cheaper and it's everywhere, you know. And so, 
it's time you you did some research and jumped on the bandwagon because pretty soon you know in in five states right now new service they're just putting solar panels on your for electric new service for electric they're just putting panels on top of your house and instead of running wires to you so they're figuring it out so you might as well jump on the bandwagon and do some research study uh you know your your peak hours your uh, that kind of thing so that uh, you have an understanding of it so when you get into it you're not going to be relying on every word that somebody says you'll have an understanding of it so that's my number two uh, all right his number two was not decreasing your usage first uh, now that's a that's a real good one uh, and the third mistake is not understanding your power consumption now that is how much power you actually use. <laughs> now, uh, you have to understand that. How much power am I using? How much does it cost to run that refrigerator, that freezer, the, to leave that light on all day, to run the stove? I mean, you need to understand that. Uh, understand your power consumption uh, so you can have an idea of what you need to either change your life or to invest that much more to get so you don't have to change at all so understanding your power consumption you know find out what your refrigerator uses find out what your air conditioner you can buy those little uh there's little things at walmart they're 20 dollars, and they you plug them into the wall and they tell you exactly what that appliance is using all right number four uh his is uh an awesome one and understanding i mean having unreasonable expectations now that's that's a real good one and and I agree with you uh, to not understand uh, I mean to think of uh, buying a Harbor Freight you know 100 watt solar panel and thinking oh that's gonna take my refrigerator offline it's not it's not that's that's unreasonable expectations uh, you know buying too small of a system saying well it'll just cut off when I run out of power, you'll run out of power quick. And you know, and that's, that's something that we do unless we do mine, which is number four. The fourth mistake is not changing your life to fit solar. Uh, start changing your life to fit solar. Start uh, turning off the light switch, swap the LED lights, uh, you know, do, change your life. I mean, you don't want to pay the, these, uh, the power companies to make them even richer. I mean. The rich gets richer and richer and richer and richer, right? So you don't want to pay them for the rest of your life. So change your life a little bit. Turn off that light switch. Uh, turn off that TV. Uh, you know, change to LEDs. You know, find a, a more efficient refrigerator. You can do things that, that will lower your power bill and pay for themselves in the long run 10 times over. So start changing your life now uh, for solar. All right, number five. Bad solar panel, panel instruction is, is uh, his, and that is a good one too. Uh, that one I agree with 100%. If you've got to, when, in your understanding of solar power, uh, you've got to understand if you put them in some place that's going to get hot, uh, you know, and stay hot all day long, like on your roof, then during the hot months, uh, they're not going to perform with the flip. They, they, the ideal temperature is like 72 degrees or something like that. So in winter time, you're actually, your panels actually perform better uh, overall, you know, during your daylight hours. So you get just as much as winter time as you do in summertime. So that's why that uh, number one, his number one about the uh, understanding the uh, sun peak hours and all that uh, is not really because winter time, you're just, you know, you produce, you produce, you produce. I fill up my batteries in two hours, whereas it might take three hours in, uh, in summertime. You know, even being out here not on the roof. So bad installation is, is a, a good one too. So I'm not a disagreeing. Uh, Sixth mistake, going cheap. Don't go cheap. <laughs> if you're changing your life, don't go cheap buy your inverter one time don't buy them cheap china made ones um i lived off them for nine years i lived off them cheap china made ones and two or three times a year every year i think one lasts a year we finally learned how to repair them and we were bringing them back to life but they never lasted they didn't do it uh i have a a snyder 
uh, inverter right now. It costs me a little bit extra, but it is uh, it's good. It's and it's been five years with no problem. So uh, buy your equipment once. Buy your panels with when you get a 20 year, 25 year uh, uh, warranty on them. You know, same thing with your inverter. Buy a charge controller that can handle high amperage so if the sun peaks behind the clouds it doesn't fry out your your whole system like it like it will on a uh an outback uh a flex max 80. Uh, same mistake is not negotiating a deal of a lifetime take, his is uh taking a deal that's too good to be true uh you know it's if you uh now i don't agree with this one at all uh, finding the deal of a lifetime you can do it you can do it. You call these companies and you get more than one bid for your products. You get more than one. You go from company to company to company and soon they'll start competing with each other and you will get a deal of a lifetime. You just have to put in the research. You have to do a little bit of work. Ask people that live on solar that know, you know, these things. There's, there's plenty of them uh, out there and I'm going to offer a special thing at, and that is I will come to your place and consult you about the best location for your solar uh, and you know I, I can even draw you out design you a system so that you you know know up front this is what I'm going to need and I, I'm going to be brutally honest with you you're going to need if you want this you're going to need this if you want this I'm going to need you're going to need this so uh, y'all please use my experience use my knowledge and uh, get a better understanding of solar and 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 it'll actually help uh go for green living because uh you know that that'll be uh kind of like a job for us <laughs> all right number seven for him L, uh lds reliance uh and and i love his channel don't think i'm saying anything bad about him but i don't agree with this one any, either because it's the same thing as this one up here buying before defining your usage uh and then def Buying before defining your usage, how much you use, right? Uh, understand your power consumption. That was number two. So two and number five, I mean, two and seven are the same. So that that's not any difference there. I mean, uh, uh, it's the same thing. If you understand your power consumption, then you're going to know how much uh, you need to bring back. And uh, and that's, that's another thing. This is part of a series. I have... Uh, seven more videos I'm going to do about this and to get to help you get y'all uh, a little better understanding about solar and where to start uh, and you know and, and you know that kind of thing uh, anyway guys that was a uh, I you know I really enjoy giving this one because I've been preparing for this one a long time and like I, you see Krista had helped me through this one and uh, and understanding it and and uh, I mean, it's, I just really uh, been meaning to get this one out there to y'all. But anyway, if I have any questions, you know, or or, or suggestions or anything to the uh, to that matter, please put them in the comments, and I will uh, get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, and I appreciate everybody's time and patience as we went through these seven. It might be a little extended video, but <laughs> I think it'll be worth it in the long run. All right, guys, I love you, Anna. Daddy loves you, baby. And uh, Oni Ove Ocha means I love you in Hebrew. Hey guys.